Howdy y'all, it's Caitlin Mack. Today I'm gonna to talk about buying a new construction home. Go ahead and get started. So the first thing would be check the floor plans and the pricing. Make sure it fits what you're looking for size-wise, home style, floor plan. Some people want maybe just a one-story home. Some people like two-story homes. Some people like a certain number of bedrooms, maybe need it for a certain amount of kids, or just want the extra rooms for an office, a guest space, whatever the case may be. And floor plan. Obviously, everybody's got different tastes on floor plans. Some people like the more compartmentalized spaces. Some like more open spaces. And there are lots of in-between kinds of homes and floor plans for pretty much anybody's needs. Then you just find out about amenities for a home in the community in the area. Obviously you want to be in the area you want to be in if there's a certain kind of commute you have like, or anything like that as well as like this particular community has these kind of amenities and everything. If that fits for your lifestyle, your family, what you guys want, that's perfect. If it doesn't, I'm sure they have, they offer the same model in another community similar. You've researched a builder quality and refuse. I don't know why people don't do this enough but you always want to research about everything. Research the builder they have tons of bad reviews on something. Look at the reviews and just see if there are things about bad quality, bad building, bad whatever, or if it's just people being nitpicky, or maybe just people that are upset. We all know people can just be negative Nancy's about things, especially if they're going through some stuff, or you know whatever the case may be. So you want to kind of pick through those reviews as well, because as we all know, people are more likely to put a negative review than they are a positive. Even though people ask for all the positive reviews in the world, people are still more apt to give a negative review. Then from there, you really want to make sure you understand the process, putting on your down payment or your deposit, building timeline, closing, and all that, especially if you're doing an actual build home. If you're doing more of an inventory home or anything like that, then obviously your building timeline is a little different because it's going to be much quicker, more close to resale kind of transaction. So, and then obviously the builder will pay your agent to represent you. Out of their marketing budget, not any budget having to do with your home, anything like that, none of your agent's commission is going to affect your home's price. The building, none of it. it. Nothing relating to your home and the budget and the money allocated to that is going towards this agent. It comes out of a whole nother side of that builder's budget to pay another realtor or a real estate agent to represent you on the buying side of a new home construction transaction. You would be insane not to have somebody on your side to negotiate for you, help you out with things like that with your research all that good stuff with their expertise it would be insane for you not to hire an agent because again it doesn't come out of your pocket it doesn't come out of any of the money having to do with your home it comes out of a totally different pocket which is fantastic news for you. So you always want to make sure you hire an agent. You also want to make sure that uh, you negotiate things more like upgrades and lot, things like that rather than price. A lot of builders do have a set pricing bracket that they put their homes in to try to keep their values around the same price, not only for the sale then, but for future buyers for sale. Keep that in mind when you are doing your purchase agreement. Maybe negotiate your lot site, your upgrades, a pool, all that good stuff rather than just negotiating the price. Be sure everything you negotiate. Make sure this extra upgrade is in writing somewhere. Because if not, or if your agent doesn't catch it, or whoever doesn't catch it, there's no way of really having a paper trail. You, you need to have the paper trail. So make sure everything's in writing. And that, that goes really for not just new construction deals, but for any kind of real estate transaction. Make sure everything is in writing. Do a third party inspection just to assure that quality construction is done. You want to make sure that the builder is not just saying, oh yeah, that's fine, huh? yeah, go ahead. You wanna have a third party come in and assure they check out the foundation, the stud, the exterior walls. You want to make sure that they are held to a good standard. They are doing quality building on your home because you don't want to go and just kind of check the handiwork of the construction workers. You do never know. You don't want to go down the road two years from now and be like, oh no, this didn't get built right or this didn't set right or this wasn't done right. That would just make so much more of a headache and not always are the builder's warranties and going to cover all of that. So you want to show your bases beforehand. Last point really is just be patient, especially if you started from the ground up. You picked a home and a lot and started from the very beginning. You gotta be patient with the timeline. So many different things out of a builder's control can affect your timeline. Sometimes it can be five and a half, six months. Sometimes it can be 10 months, a year, year and a half. 
It depends on so many different factors just because of you know the way our, our weather is. And sometimes that, that holds timelines back. So you want to always be patient with your builders, be patient with the reps, be patient with the construction workers, be patient with everybody. I promise it will be a smooth thing as long as you're patient and just understanding and just be kind. Make sure you have an agent again to negotiate for you, to help you with your research, to just help you along the process. Again, it doesn't cost you a dime in the beginning or in the end doesn't cost you a dime. So you want to make sure you have somebody on your side. If you liked this video, take a look at my video about the new construction home buying process. If you loved this video, subscribe.